historic McIntyre Villa in Atchison, Kansas. It is a 130-year-old home that is absolutely haunted. They know of at least nine people who have died inside. They've caught footsteps, doors opening in the middle of the night, voices. No oh, probe, yeah. No I probe see. just went off. I saw it light up. So we come in here and now it's out here. Whoa, that was really weird. What? I feel like someone just like tugged on my sleeve. Cat ball's going off. Oh, yo, it's the one on the skeleton. Dang it. Yo, like, I just saw a shadow where? in that room. It was quick too. That really hurt my feelings. Maybe. That was so quick. John McIntyre was born in Ireland in 1827 and emigrated to America as a child. He first settled in Philadelphia and then later moved to Indiana. During his stay in Indiana, he learned a very valuable trade, saddle and harness making. He was interested in the opportunities out west and then later moved to Kansas in the 1860s where he started his first business. John was extremely skilled. He made high quality harnesses and saddles. He did a lot of business with the wagon trains that were traveling over the overland trails during this time period. With the rapid success of his business, he was able to upscale and start making saddles and harnesses on a much larger scale. John became extremely wealthy from his business and began investing in real estate in Atchison, Kansas and St. Joseph, Missouri. It was at this time he decided to build what was now known as the McIntyre Villa in 1889. It took a year to complete and cost $14,000 in his money then, which is about a half a million dollars today. Now, just a few short years later, John's first wife, Alice, would pass away inside the home in 1892. John would remarry in 1895 to a woman named Anna Conlon, who was a widow who had three sons. Unfortunately, just a few short years later, John himself would pass away inside the home in 1902. Anna too would pass away inside McIntyre Villa all the way in 1916, with her family maintaining ownership after that. From 1916 until 1925, a gentleman by the name of Charles Conlon, Anna's brother and a prominent local lawyer in Atchison, moved into the home with his family. It is said that during this time, a gentleman took his own life in one of the bedrooms on the second floor. In 1927, the house became a boarding home and one of the former residents named Goldie actually passed away in a rocking chair that is still in the home today. In 1952, it was sold to a woman named Isabel Altus. Isabel was a retired professional violinist, and she was described as somewhat eccentric by her Atchison neighbors. She had high hopes of restoring the home to its former glory as a single family residence. However, she lacked the financial means to do this. So in 1969, she would sell the house to George Garrity, who had plans to restore the home. However, before moving out, Isabel would actually also pass away inside the villa. The home would exchange hands numerous times over the following decades until it was purchased by its current owner, Stephanie. She restored the home back to its former glory, and she currently hosts daytime, walkthrough tours, and private paranormal investigations. The house is full of claims of paranormal activity stretching all the way from the basement to the attic, many of which we experienced during our first trip here back in 2022. Now down in the basement, there are reports of disembodied voices, footsteps, and the feeling of being watched. Some investigators have even reported being scratched down in this area. When you get up to the first floor, shadow figures dart in and out of the rooms, the rocking chair where Goldie passed away is said to move on its own, and full-bodied apparitions have been seen throughout the different areas. The second floor of the villa is where the owner, Stephanie, feels the most uncomfortable when she's alone. A constant feeling of being watched, disembodied voices, footsteps all around you, and a room full of dolls being a hotbed of activity definitely makes the second floor a creepy floor to be on. Up in the attic, security cameras have captured one of the Halloween skeletons up there slowly turning its head before its eyes pop out, completely moving on its own. Disembodied voices and footsteps are also reported on this floor. You guys are about to see what we experienced during our investigation of one of the most haunted mansions in the entire country. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're at a location you've seen on the channel before. We're at the McIntyre Villa in Atchison, Kansas. This house is super, super weird. It doesn't look like a lot of locations to go. It's absolutely beautiful. Stephanie, the owner, is one of the coolest people we've ever met. But this house is active. They're in your face. They let you know they're here and they're very intelligent. If you guys want our live streams over on TikTok, or you already know, if you guys don't follow us on TikTok, make sure you check out all of our social medias down below. But I'm excited to see what we get tonight. Uh, Mark is not with us on this trip, so I feel like the energy kind of changes when there's only two of us, you know? Yeah, the vibes definitely feel different even with just two people in a house like this. Um, it's a big house. You don't feel alone in here. It feels like it's still lived in. We know they're here. We've experienced them tonight. We've experienced them last time we were here. We are gonna start up in the attic this time, the opposite of what we did last time. We're actually going to start with an assist tonight just to kind of see what we can bring forward before making contact with the rest of the, the people in this house. Yeah, I think we just need to get into it. So, who wants to talk to us tonight? Let's do it. All 
All right, guys, so we're starting out up here in the attic. Um, we're gonna go right under for an S session. I'm gonna be sitting over here. Dylan's gonna be kind of wandering around the attic. There's cat balls set up everywhere. We brought the static dome also up over there on the table where she has these skeletons that actually have been caught on camera moving on their own, which is kind of crazy. Um, maybe that'll happen. I've seen the video, it's pretty impressive, so maybe they can move tonight. That'd be really, really cool, but I'm gonna go under. Good luck up here, uh, and let's see what we get. Yeah, let's do it. So yeah, over here, um, these skeletons are known to like move their head, and this one, I guess its eyes pop out of its skull, which is kind of scary. So we have a, a static dome right here, and she also has a cat ball set up um, on this table. So hopefully those go off. Um, this is the staircase leading downstairs. Um, this door doesn't close all the way, but it also allows us to hear in case anyone's trying to sneak up behind us. So that's good. But this attic is absolutely massive. Um, it's a massive house, as we were saying downstairs. So I'm excited to see what we get. Last time we were here, it was freezing, so we didn't spend too much time up here. I already know you. It was a deep male voice. I already know you. Was I talking to you downstairs? Did a couple EVP sessions downstairs in the main parlor area. Seems like you're already sick of us, so I'm sorry that we're keeping Two people? Up. Yep, it's me and Steve. My name is Dylan. Steve is sitting over there. The mask and the headphones on. Whatever you tell him, he's going to repeat so that I can hear, okay? We don't mean you any disrespect. We just want to talk to you for a little bit. We love the house. We love its history. Stephanie's done a lot of great work to make sure that future generations can see it. We came all the way from New York to talk to you. Hello. Hello. It just felt like something touched my arm. Hello. It just felt like something touched my arm. Hello. It just felt like something touched my arm. I uh, felt, I actually could feel my sleeve move. That was weird. I don't know, I, I don't know if, it felt like something like poked. It, it, I could feel it move my sleeve though, that was weird. You just touched Steve? Here's Steve, that was weird. Yeah, he's right here. You just touch him? It's okay if you did, you're not in any trouble. What is that? It sounds like a like woman humming. I sound like a guy laughing, like a, there's a deep chuckle. Is this John? This is John McIntyre. Can you give me a sign? We have these devices set up over here near the skeletons. If you get close to them, one of them lights up. The other one, if you tap it, it lights up. Pretty cool. It's not, shouldn't hurt you. Let us know that you're here. There's like the same male voice that keeps coming through, but I can't, I can't make out what it's saying. Do you want to talk to us tonight? I will. Okay. Is there somewhere in the house where it's easier to talk to us? Is your energy stronger somewhere else? We're going to move. It's not like a female said, come to the first floor. First floor. Okay which is during my live stream is where I got a lot of the responses I was getting. Okay, we're gonna head down there a little bit. We're gonna move throughout the house. Family, that was a female, family. Which family are you a part of? Were you one of the McIntyres or one of the Conlins? Can I you, can do it. What can you do? What are you gonna do? Here I come. What does that mean? Are you coming up the stairs? Sounded like an older guy said Dylan. Hello. If you're coming up the stairs, can you swing this door open? Just kick it open. Have it open all the way. Well, dude, what is that? It's like humming. That one sounded like a male though, that wasn't like the same high-pitched female voice I heard earlier. Did you hear? Yeah, I heard you. I hear someone humming and then it sounded like there's a footstep just over there. Are you walking around up here? It's okay if you are, I'm not gonna get you in any trouble if you're not supposed to be up this late. We're not here to kick you out. Anything like that, okay? Like I said, we love the house. We love the history of the house. We just want to talk to you. I'm talking. 
We appreciate that. We understand it probably takes a lot of energy too. If you need to, you can drain our devices, drain the batteries, do whatever you need to do in or order to communicate with us, okay? Cap hole's going off. Oh, yo, it's the one on the skeleton. Me. You set that off? I am. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Can you set off the one on the table? There's one right in the middle of the two skeletons. Works the exact same way if you just tap the top of it. That's pretty good, yeah. Can you see the other one? It's right in the middle, right next to the orange cylinder, dome. I, it's the same male voice. I can't make out what it's saying. Can you speak up a little bit so Steve can hear you better? It's like someone's like running over here. There's like two or three footsteps in the back. Dude, this feels like I keep getting- I couldn't tell what the beginning of it said, but it said she always creeps up. It was something and then she always creeps up. Well, that's terrible. Thanks for that. But I was, that was so loud. That sounded like it was either on the stairs or, I don't want to open this, I'm scared. That was so loud, dude. You stomp your feet. Like half me expected to open that door and half- I see you. That's terrible, I'm gonna walk away now, thanks. Um, can you come up the stairs? I am now. And dude, as there's a creek. Okay, just open that door when you get up here. Open push. It yeah, push it. Dude. Stairs. I, like, I feel like I'm being pulled in multiple different directions. Every time I focus on the staircase, something happens over here. And every time I walk over here, something happens over here. Are you playing a game with me right now? Staring. Is that a play on words? <laughs> Around you. Are you walking around me? Trying to get a feel for us? I give you permission to- We're leaving? That Why sounded like a kid. Why are you leaving? You good? The spirit box stopped. It stopped? It's on the ground. It's off. It just turned off? It's on the ground and it's off. Did I pull it off the table? I heard it like thud. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't looking over here. Well, why it would it turn area. off? It shouldn't turn off, yeah. No, because it's, I said to turn it back on. Why would it turn off? Right. Did I, I didn't, I don't know if I was wrapped around it. I didn't think so. I wasn't even looking, I was over there. I don't know if the camera picked it, I don't know if it's too high. Right. But I don't know why would it turned off. No. Because it's like, we drop equipment all the time. It, and well, it like turns right back on. Yeah. You know, it's not like it, the batteries came loose or it broke. Right. It, I picked it up and turned it back on. It was off. That's weird. And it was as you said, um, like a kid's voice said, we're leaving or whatever. Too. It was, that was a weird voice. It's like on the way out, they're like, all right. Knock this off the table. <laughs> yeah. I want to see if that caught that. Yeah. I don't know if my legs were tangled in it. I don't think they were. It's a pretty long cord too, though. Like you have to have, sitting over, you know? That's what I mean. But why would it turn off? Right. Did anything else make sense? Yeah, a lot of it was. Um, the cat ball went off a couple times too. Okay. Um, the one on the skeleton. Oh. And uh, it seemed like I was getting pulled in multiple different directions. Okay. Every time I walked over here, um, something would happen near the staircase, and then I'd walk over to the staircase, and something would happen over here. So it was weird because there was like a male voice that continuously just kept coming through, but I couldn't make out what it was saying. Yeah. Uh, but then there was like a, a deeper male voice that I made out a few times and then a female voice. That was the only kid's voice I heard was that last one. It was weird too, because I thought I heard humming like multiple different times. Okay. I started off like a woman humming yeah. and then um, towards the end it sounded like a male, but okay. it's been pretty weird so far. All right. Well, I guess we go downstairs. Yeah. We can check to see um, if the yeah. camera picks it up too. All right. Let's move down. Yeah.
All right, guys, so we moved down to the second floor. This is where the bedrooms are. We have equipment blanketed this entire floor so they can kind of lead us into what room they want to talk to us in. We also have the DR60s in case they want to use those. But down here, uh, last time we were here, we had some pretty interesting REM activity. Yeah, this is a weird floor. Um, I think it's one of the more uh, busy floors when it was, you know, a house. I think people spend a lot of time up here, obviously, in their bedrooms. There's a lot of residual activity, but there's definitely intelligent activity. There's a lot of shadow figures up here, doors open and closed, footsteps, voices, a little bit of everything. So, like you said, we got everything covered and we're just going to kind of see where they want us to go and hopefully they want to talk to us and stephanie has new creepy dolls at the end of yes, the hallway yep, so. there's haunted dolls everywhere here which is super exciting thank you stephanie and she said um recently it's been weird here she's been seeing a lot more shadow figures yeah. she saw like glowing eyes yeah. downstairs and so. then somebody saw them upstairs yeah here too so glowing glowing eyes is a fun thing i hope you yeah. see so uh let's get into it and see if we can make contact with yeah let's do it so my name's steve this is dylan behind me We've been here before. You may recognize us. We're just here to talk to you again. That's the only reason we come here. We mean you no disrespect, no harm. You don't have to leave. We just want to talk to you and learn what it was like to live here. It's a beautiful house. We were just up in the attic. I believe I heard you guys on the stairs. Sound like there's multiple people. All these devices we have set up are for you. If you get close to them and interact with them, they're going to light up, make some noise, let us know that you're here. We can have a conversation that way. If there's anybody in the house static that can dome. hear us. Static dome? Yep, static dome is going off. I was gonna say, if there's anybody in the house that can hear us, feel free to come upstairs or downstairs to the second floor or yell. Or say something wherever you are. Just going around. We'd love to hear you. Gone. Yeah. Can you knock on something like this? Or can you move a piece of furniture? Slide a chair across the ground? What is that? Is that at the end of the hallway? Oh, the one in the doll room. Neat. Are you down here? He asked grudgingly. Yeah, and then it stops. As we start heading down this way? Yep. Because also in that room, there's a marionette that's like locked up in a case that is said to move around. Yeah, I, I will be upset. Yeah. Yep. Are you in this room at the end of the hall? Now it's, now it's down us. here. That's exactly what we had upstairs though. Yeah. It was going back and forth. Now it's behind us. Are there more than one, this one. persons up here? More than one persons. <laughs> yeah. Some movement. Down there, yeah. What did you say upstairs though? Like she creeps or something? Yeah, it's like she she's always creeps. She's always creeping. Yeah. yeah. Don't? It's like there, the thing is Yo, like, I just saw a shadow where in that room. Gross. It was quick too. That really hurt my feelings. That maybe, was so quick. It made me jump. Sorry. It like darted from left to right though. Where all the dolls are. Correct. Yep. Mm. So that's where I was doing some of my EVPs earlier during the live stream. Yeah. And we were getting some weird stuff actually near the dolls on one of the chairs and I, I was holding one. Oh. And so I put it down mm. and when I put it down out of the corner of my eye, I saw its leg move. Oh. I didn't know if it was like, it just didn't sit like, Right, and you know right. I mean it slipped, or but I went left. I, I left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. Did you move the doll when Steve was up here? Capo, yo. Capo on the marionette chair. That's awful. The new one. Can you touch that that red light right next to the cat ball? The way it like illuminates the doll next to it is pretty awful. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying. It's not pretty. No. <laughs> Hello. It goes off again. That's Do you like so this doll? Weird. I don't. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it. That's the one down in the doll room again. Yeah. Can you step back from that for a second so it stops? If you step away, it'll stop. The cat ball's going off again. There's no reason for that to go off. Right. Here, how about this? If you want Stephanie to put the new marionette doll 
in the doll room, can you touch that red light next to the cat ball so it lights up, makes noise? Oh, the one behind you. Yeah. Literally both directions again. Is there more than one person up here with us right now? Or if you're out here in the hall, can you set off this cat ball again, the one in the chair right here that you were just doing? If you're out here with us? So there's noise in this room. I can tell what it was though. In that one? Yeah. Do you want to talk to us using the voice recorders? Should be able to hear your voice, whatever you have to say to us. What was that? That's movement in the doll room. What was that? That's movement in the doll room. What was that? That's movement in the doll room. Why? It literally sounds like something's moving in there. It sounds like something is moving in the room that's full of dolls. Good thing the door's open. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what it is. No. Should we come in there? Or do you want us to stay out of the doll room? Is that why you ran in there? If you want to stay out of the doll room, set off that cat ball again, or one of these devices in the hallway. Give you some space. It's the one in the cat, or in the, in the cat room. In the doll room. <laughs> the cat room. Oh. That's all behind you too? Yeah. So they're both going off. Yeah. Which would coincide with the idea that there's multiple people. Right. Let's go into the doll room. Famous last words. Yeah, things I never thought I'd say. Uh, let's go into the doll room. Let's do a quiet one in there. Yeah. And then maybe do some questions, and then we'll come back down here and hit these rooms. Mm. But there seems to be something in the doll room, because there's something moving. Right, and there's something in this bedroom, too. Right. Let's go down here. It's weird. We're going to come into the doll room for a minute, okay? Y'all better be where I left you. Just saying. All right, so this is the one that looked like its leg moved when I put it back down. Neat. I couldn't tell if it was, again, just slipping on the couch or right. if it was, like, actually moving. Um, all right, let's do a quiet one. Yeah. We're going to use these voice recorders. I was using them in here earlier. We're going to give you the floor. This is your chance to talk. I'm going to count to three. And you come up to these devices in our hands and you speak as loudly and as clearly as you can. Whatever message you have for us, whatever you want to tell us, now is your chance, okay? You ready? Yep. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's got a weird vibe up here. Yeah. It feels really weird. That's how it was upstairs, too. It feels really... It just feels like you're being watched. Yeah. It Which, feels like... This guy doesn't help. No. No, he's got to look at him, but... <laughs> it just feels weird. Yeah. I don't know. Let's play these. It's very faint whispering. It's yeah. like under it's like under its breath almost. It's like very, very breathy. Right, it's kinda of like talking to itself yeah. almost. Which yeah. is scary. Like murmuring to itself. Yeah. Neat. Is that you? You be quiet. Alright, let's see this one got. What was that? What? What? Something play. Something, something just scared me? It's such a weird voice. Something, Some, just, something just scared me, that's yeah, what it sounds something like. just scared me. One, 
something just scared me? Yeah. That's bizarre. Wh what is that? I don't know. Like, I. What was that? That sounded like some kind of like audio like radio. Yeah, it was like audio interference. Yeah. From what? To what? <laughs> yeah. We that was so bizarre. Around. It really sounded like radio interference. Yeah. We don't have the spirit box with us. No. That was really weird. Um, I don't know what to make of that. I don't think I've ever no, heard that. No, it was almost like it was almost like a like a like a jolt of energy, like interfered with our mics or I don't know. That was really weird. It, that was really weird. Yeah. And then something just scared me. I was gonna say though, um, like the Fairfield video though. What if they're existing in the right. same timeline as us, right. and they see us as like shadow figures? Right. Like, right. oh, that just scared they heard me. us. They heard us walk into the room, or yeah. you know what I mean? That's bizarre. Let's um, let's do a set of questions in here. Yeah. And then we'll move back out there because that went off again during that session. Right. And we'll see what's what's going on out there. Yeah. But let's do some questions. I'm gonna step over here by these lovely folks. Hello. All right, uh, we'll see. Go from there. All right, here we go. One, two, three. What scared you? Are you connected to the uniform in the other room? Can you scream as loud as you possibly can into one of these devices? Can you say the name of the woman who owns this house? All right, one, two, three. Let's see. Uh, I don't know why I asked him to scream. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of dumb. Couldn't say like, hello, no. or great to see you. Yeah. It's like it almost tried to scream. Yeah. It was like it was maybe it was as loud as it could. Right. You know, I asked for it to do it as loud as it can. Maybe maybe that was it. Maybe yeah, that's the old all college it try. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if this one got. What is that? What is Play that again. What is Please don't. Please don't leave. Can't oh, make out the last please word. Please don't leave me in here. In here. Are you connected to the uniform in the other room? Can you scream as loud as you possibly can into one of these devices? Can you say the name of the woman who owns this house? So it's like it tried to scream both times. Yeah. That was the only time it made that kind of noise right. on either one of them. That first one honestly sounds like it says, please don't leave me in here. Like, what is it? I don't Again. Know. I don't know what that is. I don't think we've ever had that No, it's happen. an audio interference. Yeah. We've had these mics, we've used these mics, we've used the DR60s. I mean, there's nothing new. Right. Uh, okay. I don't know what to make of that. Like, Please don't leave me in here is what I think that says. Well, we got something just scared me. Mm -hmm. Please don't leave me in here. So they're scared to be alone, basically. Right. Is it you? What if What if it's something that we've brought with, with us from somewhere? During the live stream, actually, it sounded like um, I got the name Sally. Right. And we, I mean, we were at the Sally house last night. Right. It's a mile down the road. But it's like, 
did we bring something from there to here? And right. it's like, something just scared me in here. Please don't leave me in here. Right. Or it could be anything. Who knows? Yeah. That's weird, though, because those two things line up. Yeah. They, they match each other. I don't know what to make of it. No. I really don't. And the audio interference. Like, I don't know what that is either. What can cause that? Is it like they're maxing out our mics right. or something? Like, is their energy just too much right now? Right. Let's, um, let's go down the hall still by, by the other room because that has gone off a few more times. Yeah. Um, we'll do a session down there and we'll see what we can get. And then we'll just keep moving throughout the house. Go from there. Yeah. So. Oh, it's going off again. Yeah. It's going off again. It's weird. It's the same one each time too. Right. Yeah. I don't know. This floor feels weird. It does. It really does actually. It feels off. Are you in that room? Let's just do it out here. Yeah. Cause then we can cover the hallway and that room essentially. Right. So anybody that can hear my voice. Come on the second floor, come in the hallway. One in the doll room again? Yep. Back down the doll. As soon as we leave. As soon as we leave, that one goes off again. But, but it said, please don't leave me in here. And we left him. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Something scared me. Please right. don't leave me in here. And we walked out. If you're scared to be alone in there, can you join us in the hallway? Come out here and set off the, uh, the cat ball. Come on out. It's okay. Come out here. Set off the cat ball in this chair again like you were doing before to let us know you made it out. Okay. We we give you permission to follow us out here into the hallway. Set off that device that's in this chair again. You did it before. It's weird. Yeah. It's really weird. Ready? I don't know what to make of that. No. Let's ask him some questions. Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Did you get stuck in that room when we left? Can you give us your name so we know how to address you? Can you say McIntyre? What year is it? One, two, three. All right. I don't know what to make about that, John. No. That's really weird. But similar to upstairs, though, is like leading us every Different which direction. Yeah. Did you get stuck in that room when we left? This sounds a lot closer. Yeah. yeah. What are you still, bitch? make it out no it sounds a lot closer though yeah that, that first one definitely does yeah I don't know. Got... to make of this floor mm -hmm. it feels weird we're getting a weird mixture of stuff yeah like it's intelligent because we say can you scream as loud as you can and that was the only time it made a relatively close to a scream sound on both recorders right it said please don't leave me in here something just scared me and the minute we leave that starts going off again right it hadn't gone off while we were in there right this has been going off i, I don't we heard movement down there in the yeah. doll room i saw the shadow like dart into that's that room that's what i mean it's super weird that actually so I saw the shadow when we first got up here. Something right. scared me. Right. And the minute we go into that room, it says, please don't leave me. Right. Something so, ran into there. Right. So what's downstairs then? Right. What are they running from? Oh, good. That's where we're heading. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That, so, Cause the staircase is over there too though. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's weird. This, this floor is very strange tonight. Yeah. And then the cat ball also goes off in the marionette chair twice. Right. And then it doesn't go off again. Mm. I, I really don't know what to make of all that. But it it's like it was trying to lure us into the doll room. Right. Something scared me, and then we get in there, and it's like, please don't leave me in here. That's so weird. I don't know. 
but let's keep going. Let's go downstairs. Let's do some more EVPs. Let's mm. blanket the first floor because we did a double SS down there last time we were here. We had really, really intelligent, weird activity. I saw something on the staircase during the SS session. So I'm excited to get down there and do some EVPs because we didn't do that last time and yeah. see who we can make contact with. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Really quick guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you drop down below and give us a like because if we get 3,000 likes on this video, we're gonna head to Texas and check out the Black Swan Inn. So drop a like. Let's get back into the investigation. All right, guys, we moved down to the first floor. We have equipment everywhere. We have the nope rope going up the stairs. We have mel meters in every room, REM pods, everything. We have Spirit Talker going. And it just said girl, yeah. which is interesting because we were just talking about possibly bringing something from the Sally house right. into McIntyre Villa and it being scared of whatever else is here. Not a far commute, I guess. And there's... that. Is that the one over by the stairs? Uh, let's see. No, it's the one over here. Okay. This is a nope rope, though. No, it's glory. Well, this is where I was standing last year when I saw whatever it was out on the stairs while you guys were under your session. Right. Can you sit passage. off on a passage? Passage? Well, this kind of was a passage. Yeah. There's the, the um, main thoroughfare of the house. Right. The main entrance was right there, the front door. Can you touch one of these devices? Touch the top of them so they'll light up, make some noise? They shouldn't hurt you. All they do is let us know that you're here. What was that? I don't know. Nana. That was Nana. Oh, okay. Hello, Nana. Is it like Mama? No. <laughs> or were you related to Anna? One of the Conlins? We've heard you walking around before. So if you're in anywhere in the house that can hear my voice, can you stomp your feet? Follow us left. Follows left? Yeah. Left? That way. Who's left? Are you going? My left is this way. Are you over here? That just scared me. The chair? Yeah. Where are you going? Well, left is how you get out of the basement. Yeah. Actually, yeah. The stairs are over there. And that staircase would have been where that shadow came from. Yeah. That's crazy, actually. Yeah, the shadow upstairs. Do you want us to go down to the basement? Do you feel safer down there? Because last time we were here, that's where we started. Yeah. Hello? Make a noise for us. Say something. 1800s. 1800s. That's when it was built. Yeah. There's a lot of history from this house in the 1800s. Yeah. Is that what... Time period it is for you right now? I'd make it one of the McIntyres most likely yeah. too. Is this John? This is John McIntyre. Can you give us a sign that you're here? Set off one of these devices. Make a loud noise. A woman here. A woman here. A woman here. So girl, Alice? A woman here. Is this Alice McIntyre? Are you from this house? Or did you come from somewhere else? Did you come with us? Yeah, because I mean, going back to the Sally house too. Same time period. Yeah. And a woman here, I heard that woman's voice. Yeah. Which was super bizarre. Like footsteps? There's a couple of footsteps. The first two sound like kids, though. There's like light. Little, yeah. Are you. That was right over there. Yeah. Are you walking around? You're coming down to talk to us? It's okay if you are. You're not in any trouble. We understand it's late. It's getting kind of late. Are you coming to check on us, see what we're doing? Do we make you uncomfortable? What if, I mean, let's be a stretch too. What if whatever's upstairs, right? Like something just scared me. Please don't leave me in here. Mm -hmm. What if they're talking about us to each other? Right. Like yeah. we walked into the room, we got up to the area, you saw that thing dart. Maybe that's why it ran. Right. 
we get up there, it runs, it says, hey, something just scared us. We just happened to catch it. Yeah. Right? Please don't leave me in here. It's behind us. Yeah. It's, it's in that room. It's, that's the only one that's going off. All night, that's how it's been, though. It's been, it leads us in one direction, yeah. and then... So let's go, let's opposite. go in here and yeah. see if... We're going to come in here. It stops. Yep. All right. We're in here now. Is that what you wanted? No, no probe. probe. Yeah. No I probe just went off. I saw it light up on the top of the top of the stairs. So we come in here and now it's out here. Right. Did you just run upstairs? Or did you come downstairs? Can you set that off again on the staircase? Those lights? I'm just gonna step out here so I can see it a little bit better, okay? All you gotta do is get close to it. Boots? That's what it sounded like, yeah. Yeah, boots. If you're upstairs, can you come back down? What is that? Like a whistle? Yeah. It's like a footstep. Yep, there's a movement up there. Can you come down these stairs? This thing is at the front door. Either the front door or over here. And now it's in that room again. So if we go back in there. Okay, we're back in here. Stops. Now will you set something off in a different room? We're making noise upstairs. Where's that one? This one. Now it's this one right here. Can you step back from that so it stops making that noise? So we know you can hear us? Okay. Have you been avoiding us all night? Just kind of playing a game with us? Like cat and mouse? We're gonna be going in the basement in a little bit. Is that okay? There's something that we should be careful of down in the basement. Can you give us a sign? Set off a device, make a really loud noise. We understand it's late, we're not trying to bother you. I'm finding it difficult. Finding it difficult. You're finding it hard to talk to us? Do you want to use the voice recorders? Will that make it easier? We can try those. Yeah, I'm going to go into this room. This is where I had a lot of the good okay. ones earlier. All right. I'll stay out here by the stairs. All Let's right. do a quiet one. Yeah. We're going to give you the floor, okay? This is your chance again to talk. Anything you want to say? Now is going to be a good time. Concerned. Concerned. What are you concerned about? Why don't you tell us, okay? We're going to count to three. And you tell us what's concerning you. Speak into the device in my hand or in Dylan's hand. And you let us know what you're concerned about, okay? You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Sound. One, two, three. All right, let's, uh, let's see if they told us what they were concerned about. Yeah. Say help me? I can't, yeah. Gertrude. 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 And uh, during that session too, it said found. found. So my immediate um, first thought was, what if it's something that Stephanie found? Right. Like that new marionette doll. Right. Could what be if it's, she's brought a lot of stuff in here. All right. this furniture. Anything. So what if something's attached to that right. and you're concerned about whatever's with it, you right. know? I don't know. Let's see this one got. Nothing's Nothing clear. clear. As soon as you draw your attention to it again, it stops. You hear those footsteps? Yeah. It literally sounds like somebody's walking in this room right over here. 
We're gonna go downstairs to the basement. Is that okay? If you want, you can follow us down to the basement and continue talking to us. Grandmother. So we got like Nana yeah, and yeah. Grandmother. Feel free. Come down to the basement and talk to us, okay? If you feel uncomfortable with whatever's up here or whatever's upstairs, you can come with us downstairs. It's been, it's weird. It's been super, super weird all night. Yeah. I can't really make out what's going on. No, it's Who been like we're talking to where they're from, whether right. they're from here, from somewhere else, whether they're afraid of us, afraid of something else. I can't make it out. Right. We're not getting a clear answer. Right. There's something here. It's interacting. It's intelligent. It's mm. answering questions, but we just can't connect anything yet. Right. Hopefully in the basement, we can get a couple more clear answers and maybe we can make more sense of what's going on here. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, if you've been enjoying tonight's investigation and all this crazy activity we've been having here at the McIntyre Villa, do not forget to drop down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you're notified every single week when we upload a brand new investigation. We've been going to some of the most haunted locations all across the U.S. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure you subscribe. Now let's get back into the investigation. All right, guys, so move down to the basement. Um, again, we have devices just blanketing the entire basement, essentially, and we also brought the spirit box and the DR60s. We're gonna see if they wanna interact with the equipment first, as they kind of seem like they've been leading us down here the entire night, um, but then we can break out the spirit box and or the DR60 if we need to. Yeah, we haven't done like an open spirit box session in a while, so we figured we'd try that down here, see if it's a little easier for them to communicate with us, maybe, um, yeah. and then we will probably do some more DR60s to wrap up the night, but the basement has a weird, weird vibe to it all the time. A lot of shadow figures down here. Yeah. Um, we were hearing disembodied footsteps above us when we were down here earlier. All kinds of weird things. So let's see what we can get, and then uh, that'll be it for McIntyre. Yeah. So like Steve was just saying, we were down here earlier. We have some devices set up. If you get close to them, if you touch them, they're going to light up and make some noise. Can you touch the top of one of these devices or set off one of the cat balls? Or if you're above us and you can hear us, can you walk around, stomp your feet a little bit? Also guys, it is pitch black down here. Like, all you can see is barely Dylan from his LCD screen. Do you come down here to hide from whatever's upstairs? Is this your safe space? Uh, yeah, thanks, man. You just brought him down here. Super cool of you. <laughs> or if you're upstairs, you can hear us. Can you come down here? We have a bunch of stuff set up that if you get near it, wave your hand in front of it, grab the top of it, lights up, changes color, and make some noise. It's not going to hurt you. You're allowed to use it. We brought it here for you to use. It just lets us know that you can hear us. You able to touch one of these devices that we have down here? What the f was that? It was in this back room for what sure. What was that? It sounded like like giggling almost. Yeah, it was like it was a high pitched voice. It sounded like it was in the doll room. Sadly, uh, it was like a high pitched yeah, like a giggle. It yeah, was, I thought they had more in here. Bizarre. Was it you? He's supposed to have an attachment. Oh that no! Was supposed to, that was supposed to have an attachment. I remember that from last time here. Man, that sucks. Yeah, a little giggly doll. If you just giggled at us, can you uh, sit off this device right here? You just touch the top of it, if you get close to it, it can light up. Make me sad. You can just hear that thud. I don't know, what was it doing? It literally sounded like something like fell upstairs. It was directly above me. It was a pretty good thud. What was that? I don't know. Did you hear that? It was yeah. like a... a I didn't know how to describe that. That sounded like it was back down there. Yeah. I can't tell if it's like trying to lead us somewhere because it, it's scared of something or right. if it's scared of us and it's trying to lead us somewhere and then get out of the, you know what I mean? Go somewhere else. They're just trying to avoid us and we keep following it right. and it just runs away. Yeah. Right. Again, we're not trying to scare you. We're not trying to intimidate you. We just want to talk to you. We want to learn more about this house, why you're still here, how you're still here. What if we go back out to the main hallway? Yeah. We'll try the spirit box um, out loud for a little bit, see mm -hmm. if they can communicate that way. And then uh, 
we can maybe do some DR60s. Depending on how that goes, yeah. Yeah, because that voice was weird. It was like, yeah. Like you said, it was like a giggle. Yeah. So let's go out here. Let's uh, see what we can do with the spirit box. I can't see. Right. We have this device. He's going to turn it on. It should make it easier for you to talk to us. We should be able to hear you in real time when you say something. So whatever you want to tell us, call to the device in his hand and try to speak through it, okay? We're only going to do this for a few minutes, guys. Can you say hello? What's up? I just saw a flash of light. Flash of light? What the hell was that, actually? Uh, I don't know what that was. It yeah. was tiny. It was like a, it was like right here. That I really don't know what that was, actually. There's no windows down here. We're in the basement. Right. It's four o'clock in the morning. I don't know what that was. It was like right here. It was like a quick flash. It didn't like light up the whole area. It was it was contained. Well, it's like what I saw in Madison, though. Yeah, yeah. It, it was literally like contained. It was like a little like a like a blip. I don't know. It, that was super weird. I don't know. I looked down at my. I didn't know if it, like my reflected off a piece of metal. I don't. You know what I mean? Like, like a watch or something. Yeah. Know? I mean, mine was covered up by my. So sleeve, was mine. But that was really really weird. Because it's like, what if that's them trying to manifest? Or right. That, that's how they appear right or somebody coming or going or, yeah you know what i mean like a portal's down here or something. yeah that's how they you know i don't know that was super bizarre and it wasn't the light bulb it wasn't like over here it was right. it was more towards the middle it was over this way more that was really really strange actually there's nothing i mean there's nothing down here no that could do that um okay let's uh any whom let's go back over there and try to continue the spirit box for a minute yeah I think I might have just saw you. If I did, can you let me know through this device? Did I see you? Mail voice. Yeah, it was a deep mail voice. Yeah. Can you say that one more time? That was female. What's your name? We're going to be done for the night pretty soon. But we're going to be sleeping here. Is that okay with you? Are you trying to hide from us? Are you hiding from something else? What was that? What did you hear? Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. It wasn't, it wasn't whatever that is in there. It sounded like, um, almost like somebody cleared their throat. It was like, <clears throat> right. It didn't sound like a growl or anything like that. It literally yeah. sounded something like, <clears throat> like that, like they were trying to clear their throat. It sounded like it was behind me. Like it was one of those things where like you hear it and like your ear twitches. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like where you hear it and you know it came from a certain area. Right. It made my ear like twitch. Hello? Did Please. I just hear you? Is that the one here? That one's in there. No, it's in the back room by the doll. Yeah. Good. By the doll with the attachment again. Yeah. Were you getting ready to say something? 
I heard you and I think I saw somebody. Are you trying to manifest? Are you trying to make yourself known to us? Whoa. That was really weird. What? I feel like someone just like tugged on my sleeve. Really? Yeah. Oh, I mean, there's nothing there. No, that's what I mean. That's the problem. <laughs> well, I felt the touch on my arm upstairs. What arm was it? Uh, my left arm. Oh, upstairs. Yeah, it was my left arm, but if I could feel like my, my sweatshirt move. Yeah, like it pulled it my me. arm. Yeah, I could feel my sweatshirt move when I did it upstairs. I mean, I had the camera pointed at you. I'm like, maybe I can see it. That'd be cool. I don't know. You're trying to get my attention? I was like, whatever's down here seems like it's coming out a little bit more now. Yeah. I see the light. I hear that voice. We heard the giggle earlier, but I see the light, hear the voice, and now you're getting touched. Mm -hmm. Are you wanting us to stay or do you want us to go upstairs? Should we stay or should we go? Correct. <sighs> That's what I mean. We can't figure that out tonight, right? Like, no. what, what, what do they want? Do they want us away? Do they want us to, to help them? Are they saying they're scared of us? Are they scared of something else? What is that noise? What is that noise? Did you hear that? You see that voice? I have full body chills right now. That was like clear as day. What is going on? Did you hear that? Yep. Came from back by that dog. Yeah. Right? Who's talking? What is that? Oh my God, I have such bad chills right what now. Is that? is that real? Hello? What is that? I don't know. I don't think I want to go back there. Why is the doll talking? We're going to be going upstairs in a minute and going to bed. What do you need from us? Do you need help? Do you feel stuck here? Or is there something else here that makes you uncomfortable? I really don't know what to make of tonight. No. But think about last summer, though. When we had this whole attachment thing yeah. following us, same exact thing. Right. And, and a lot of people were saying they thought we got it from the Sally house the first time. Yeah. And now it goes away for a while. Like we don't really pay much money. I think it's one in there. It's in there again by the doll. Yeah. Yep. And, you know what I'm saying though? Like it goes away for a while. We stop paying attention to it. it we go of, to the Sally house again. And it spikes right back up again. Yep. Is that what happened? Something followed us from the Sally house? Something that's not supposed to be here? Or what if it's like Madison and Fairfield, like these two locations that beef with each other? Right, because they're close to each other. Yeah. Did you hear that whistle? I did, yeah. Like, I thought if I ignored it, it maybe like, it didn't happen. It was literally like, yeah. It was a whole tune. Mm -hmm. Who's whistling upstairs? Because we have to sleep up there. We do. I mean, I'm gonna sleep like a baby, honestly, but. Why is everything just like spiking up all of a sudden? But it's somewhere where we're not. Right. We come downstairs, everything's upstairs. It's distant. Right. We're gonna go. We're gonna do one more recording. We're gonna ask you to say goodnight. We'll ask a couple questions. Yeah. This is it. Last chance, okay? We're gonna go upstairs and go to bed. A few more questions. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Did you come here from a different location? Do you have a message for us? Before we go upstairs for the night, can you say good night or goodbye? Are you going to mess with us while we sleep here? One, two, three. Did you hear that? The voice? There was something back there. I couldn't tell if it was like an inhale or like a chair dragging or something. Chair dragon? A chair dragon. I thought it was like a voice, like a breathy voice. It was definitely breathy or either breathy or chair dragging yeah. or something. Huh, that's too bad. Because a lot of this is like brick, but there's like dirt over it and there's a dirt floor behind us. Yeah, so it has like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like a gritty sound almost. Right. Anyway. All right, let's play this back. I love how everything starts going absolutely insane as we're trying to go to bed. Yep. Is that right at the beginning? What?
for us. If you come here from a different location, I did. I did. If you come here from a different location, I did. Few words, but it sounds like it says, I did. Yeah, you come here from a different location. I did. That's a good start. Doesn't mean it was our fault necessarily. Well, Could have been here from somewhere else. True, just got dropped off. Yeah, Let's see. Did you come here from a different location? Do you have a message for us? Before you go there for the night, can you say good night or goodbye? Are you going to mess with us while we sleep here? So, right at the end. I don't know. I can't make that. I was like, no, bump, bump. Way quieter. It's a few yeah. words. I don't know. I really don't know no. what to make of this. So it's like, do we have another attachment that's going to scare places? Right. You know, like the like spirits are going to want to talk to us? Yeah. Or are they, whoever's upstairs scared of us tonight? Right. I really don't know. It, it, it never clarified no. what was going on. It was scared of something. Retweet. And I said, please, please don't leave me in here. Yeah. But it doesn't clarify. No. I'm not really sure what to make of it. I don't know. But um, let's go upstairs. Let's get some sleep. About that time. Let's get some sleep. And uh, we'll recap this in the morning, see if anything else happens while we're sleeping. Yeah, hopefully I float or something. That'd be yeah, cool. that'd be cool. And uh, that'll be it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, it is officially the next morning. We survived another night inside McIntyre Villa. As soon as the camera stopped rolling, the activity kept going. It was literally the second we stopped recording. We came up here, we started packing up, getting ready for bed, and the front door swung wide open. Um, we caught it on security cam footage right here. Uh, Stephanie has a ton of cameras here. We were standing in front of the cameras, unfortunately, but you see our reactions, which is kind of funny but it really took us by surprise. Yeah, we were just standing here talking about, you know, the activity throughout the night and we heard the door handle jiggle. So we both stopped and looked over and then the door swings open and we both ducked to look under this half wall of cabinets to see who's walking in the house at 4.30 in the morning. And obviously there was nobody there. Right. So I'm gonna plug that in right here, guys. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously you can only see our reactions to it, but we do the exact same thing at the exact same time. It was really, really bizarre. Yeah. Neat. Hello. I get it. We're not really sure to what to make of it, but it was a really weird night. Um, we love coming to McIntyre Villa. We'll definitely have to come back here. And if you guys want to check this place out, all the links will be down below. Um, but I think it's about that time. We need to get back on the road and check out the next spot. Let's do it.